Hey guys, Nick from KN Tech here. Welcome back to what's going to be part three of my new 3900X build. In the first part, we saw me actually building the machine and setting it up on my test bench and getting it all configured. And I did a couple of comparisons between my new CPU and my old CPU. In the second one, we saw me stripping down my case and getting all the water cooling out of my old 8600K build and reverting that back to an air cooled system. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be doing the swap and I'm going to be swapping out the 8600K motherboard and I'm going to be putting into my case the 3900X motherboard. For those of you that haven't seen the first two installments of this, I'm going to put a link up there to the playlist of the first two videos. So let's get stuck into it and we'll see how it turns out. So here we have the two builds. On the left is the new AMD 3900X build and that's sitting in my test bench. And on the right is my i5 8600K build that's currently in my case. So I'm going to be keeping the 2060 that I've got in the case on the right and I'm going to be matching that up with the new 3900X and the 1060 I've got on the left I'm going to be matching up with the i5 8600K when it swaps into the test bench. So firstly I'm going to take all the power cables off of all of the components on both of the machines. That way I should just be able to simply lift out the motherboard keeping the CPU and the cooler on them and transfer them from one case to the other. Now I'm going to remove the video cards, because like I said, I'm going to be swapping these two over. So that's the old one out, now it's time to put the new one in. So there we have it guys, everything's all connected up. The front panel USB, the audio, everything else is like that. I've, managed to, I've put the GPU in as well. So now all we have to do is just to hook it up and we'll see if it works. Alrighty, here it goes. Of course it does help if you actually turn the power on. Let's try that again. Okay, maybe third time lucky. Perfect. Now all I need to do is boot into Windows and uh, configure all my drives. Okay, so I'm gonna call that a reasonable success. I'm gonna button up this case so I can then get to configuring the drives. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so the last thing I have to do now is to put the old motherboard back in the test, or into the test bench, so I can then use that for my testing. Finally, the GPU. And now to test the old system after I've moved it into my test bench. As there is no power switch on the test bench, I'll manually jump the power connectors. At least it boots. And there we have Windows. Okay guys, I'm gonna call that a day here. So I've managed to do the swapping out of the two main boards. So that's taking the 8600K out of my machine and putting in the 3900X, which was on the test bench originally. So I'm gonna go ahead and configure my 3900X in the machine in the case now. I've got a few things I need to do. I need to make sure that the 
program paths are correct and they're all pointing to the correct disks. Don't forget to check back in a couple of weeks guys for part four. It's going to be the fourth and I promise it's the final part to this. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realise it was going to run into four parts. I thought it was going to be able to be done in maybe just a couple. Uh, the fourth part's going to be the water cooling. So I'm going to be using the Corsair water cooling products to go in this. Because that's going to match up with my Corsair fans that I'm going to put back in. It's all going to be hooked up together to my Commander Pro, which means all the lighting should be on point. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.